Hey there. Just uh, ordered these uh, fuse boxes. Oh, well, there's just one actually. I ordered the uh, one with eight fuse slots uh, for a project I want to work on. Um, just because I like to keep things fused. I wanted to order one and get it in my hands and see what it looks like. And uh, <laughs> it turns out this is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Let me show you. Got it over here. Came wrapped in a box. Let me zoom this a bit here. So we can all see. And just to give you an idea of how big it is. I and mean, this thing is not small at all. To give you an idea with my hand. Let's see if I got a coin here. I got a oh look at that, we got a nice shiny Canadian quarter. <laughs> Well, anyways, just to give you an idea. If you got a quarter, everybody's got a quarter. How big it is? Yeah, I'm not gonna get a tape measure because I really don't want to get into measuring stuff in uh, millimeters and inches and tenths of inches and eight sixteenths and all that crap. Uh, this is pretty much just to give you an idea of what the object looked like, because I know on the net things can look one way, and when you get them, they look another. But <clears throat> it doesn't come with fuses, so don't expect any. And the box has um, an inlet or input and an output for each fuse line. I know a lot of people were complaining, well, I was hoping just for one positive in and then a bunch of fused out. But, uh, you know, everybody's different. It's completely customizable so that you can, uh, you know, if you want to put uh, this to be like a negative type fuse, well, you can put that in a positive line, you know. Uh, my purse, what I'm going to do, oh, here, just uh, real quick. Uh, this is more of a dust cover. This is not really uh, an outdoor box because you can see there's nothing on the back. It's not sealed. And there is, um, you can see a little black line around the uh, dust cover here. And uh, that'll, that'll keep out moisture. You know, well, not even moisture, actually. It's, but, you know, if it gets splashed with something, it's not going to, you know, it should just run off. But, you know, it's not really, if you were going to put this in the engine compartment, I think I would put it into a, another box and seal it up and run your wires out one side of the box and, you know, fill it up with silicone to keep it, uh, keep it dry and out of the way. Other than that, I, um, it's, uh, like I said, it's a little bigger and I did have a box I was going to put it in. Hold on, let me get that box and I'll show you. Whoops, jeez. Get my big feet stuck in there. Let me get this box and I'll show you what's, uh. I'm looking to do. So I might end up having to do something else with it and work it around so that uh, I can get an angle, you know, get everything put together the way I want. Probably means I'll have to get a bigger box, but whatever the case may be. Just put this off to the side here. Alright. Uh, this was going to be my box that I was going to start with. So, you know, I, I had ideas that this was going to be really small. I guess I was expecting something with the mini fuses, whereas this uses the uh, standard blade fuses. And uh, as you can see, uh, it is not going to fit in this box because the inside of this box is a tad smaller. And this thing just goes to each end of the box perfectly. So it is not going to work. And I am not going to put it like this because I do plan on putting, um, well, even, even yet, you know, look at that. There's not even much room to... You know, I do plan on putting switches that onto this uh, box. So, and this box, I think it was 4... 4.7 inches this way. And, uh, what does it say there? 2.2 inches this way. Maybe the, uh... Get up there, you can take a look at it. Alright. But uh, I like the idea of the fuse box um, a lot better than having uh, inline fuses. You know, where you have your wire, and your little inline fuse that's in a rubber, you know, which is good for the for the uh, end compartment and outside because it's all rubber and closes up nice and that. But when you got to have eight or ten of them, you know, I guess I, I can see that becoming a bit of a pain in the butt. So um, I'm gonna have to get myself a a larger box, which is not a problem. I expected I'd need a larger box 
for my switching box. Of course the idea is maybe I can get something smaller than this and use this for the uh, for my relay uh, box outside. Which means I can still use this for my switch box but I gotta find some smaller fuses um, which could be a problem. Unless I, well, you know, just ideas. I'm still working around with it. You know, it's still an idea in progress. Um, so anyways, this gives you a great idea as to uh, what to expect when ordering this item from Amazon. There will be a link to it uh, below in the description. So if this is something which, uh, that you're looking for and that you want, you know, remember that it's not small. It's actually, uh, it's actually quite large. So you're going to need some room to put it, uh, to, to install it. Uh, anyway, I, I've listened. You got any questions? Put them in the comments and uh, I'll try and get back to you. Thanks for watching.